the Great Flood, a tale shared by civilizations across the ages. First, let's go to ancient Mesopotamia, where the Epic of Gilgamesh tells of a giant flood sent by the gods. Now picture the biblical story, Noah's Ark, where humanity and animals seek refuge from a deluge sent down by a higher power. Fast forward to ancient Greece, their myths speak of Deucalion and Pyrrha, who repopulate the earth after a flood. Turn to indigenous tales from the Americas to Australia. The water rises, covering the land, and the people must rebuild. The Great Flood, a myth entwined through cultures. What if there's more to these stories? Could there be truth beneath the tides? Ahoy, tent pirates, plant parents, conscious consumers, and the morbidly curious. Welcome to Cultivation Conversation, a podcast for growers by growers. Come chat with our hosts, Captain Autoflower, the real green monster, and myself, Girl Go Grow. Grab a bouquet of your favorite flowers, apparatus of choice, and don't forget the fire while I tell you about the special companies that help keep this ship afloat. We are busy people and we demand the best for our plants. So all three of us automate our grows with Autopots. Available in over 63 countries, gravity powered Autopot systems rely on no pumps, no timers, and no power to operate. This plant driven automated watering is so precise, it will reduce consumption of feed while increasing yield. An effective and efficient way to delegate a little responsibility. Let your plants feed themselves. Use code CC10 at autopot-usa.com. If quality is the name of your game, look no further than AC Infinity. AC Infinity's grow tents, lights, accessories, and ventilation systems offer reliability and affordability along with total environmental control. Use code CULTIVATION on acinfinity.com to save even more. Frass Valley produces the highest quality superworm frass. Naturally strengthen your plants and enhance their resistance to pests and disease. Use code CC10 at FrassValley.com. We are big fans of Mass Hydroponics. Whether you're a local in Massachusetts or accessing their full online catalog, they are your one-stop shop for all of your growing needs. Use code CC10 at Mass-Hydro.com. is going on everybody out there in podcast land how are you what is up hello my darlings howdy howdy welcome back brothers and sisters to a podcast for growers by growers yeah i mentioned uh last show we, we we don't like to give away you know full full tent grow kits or anything like that um, but we do like to give sure. away just knowledge. Tip. Yeah. <laughs> t- tips. We give away tips, tricks, knowledge, humor, grower love. That's that's what we give away, guys. So if if you're a grower and you're looking to like learn the ins and outs, you know, of, of this this hobby of ours, I think you found your show. If you are looking for free shit. I think you need to keep looking. But, you know, you get free shit. It's all relative. What's up, everyone? Welcome in the chat. How are you? Grow Mitten. You all ready for Thanksgiving? Charles. High Times Garden. Howdy. Happy Turkey Day, everybody. Yeah, it's Thanksgiving Eve. It's like the biggest drinking day of the year, isn't it? This is like dedicated to walks before dinner with your family, slash cousins, <laughs> slash whoever. No, that's that's tomorrow, man. You got to get that joint stroll before before Thanksgiving dinner happens. I always duck out like I don't know, maybe an hour before dinner's on. And, an hour. Uh, I mean, 
I'm, I'm doing it throughout the day, don't get me wrong, but you get your, your good, like, pre-meal smoke in, you get nice and high for Thanksgiving dinner, and, and like, all my cousins are always like, like, where'd Captain go? Has anyone seen Captain? Just like, yo, stop, stop blowing me up here. Like, if you, you miss the signal, you fucking lose. <laughs> Did you run into a skunk? <laughs> Pretty much. Like, what, what's that smell? Is that is that the carrots? What you use in the carrots? But now Thanksgiving's one of my favorite holidays, guys. I hope everyone you know has a good time. So what are you guys smoking on tonight? I actually have the perfect strain for Thanksgiving. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I took down um, Goondocks by Goonie Genetics. And she is out of dry and she's only like a couple days into cure, but I had to try her anyway. And she's going to be a great show strain. But the reason why she's so great for Thanksgiving is that she's like, she's sage stuffing and white wine. (laughs) That's what she was. She was a little like cat urine-y. She came out of, out of... You know, when she was chopped and kind of as she was in dry, you and try... now into cure, she's shifting into this like really nice white wine, sage stuffing smell. Sage so. stuffing? Like, you're telling me you got yeah. Thanksgiving dinner terps? I do. Oh. I do. That's God dope. Damn. <laughs> yeah, that's really <laughs> cool. Do you think it's just like, um, associations you know like i mean i mean why you, is it this time of yeah year? yeah you're just like like hopeful that it will smell like thanksgiving dinner you're anticipating I don't that think smell so because she was very different like this is she's been actively changing as she goes into cure <clears throat> and through it like she was very cat urine very very like i walked into my house when i was in the middle of trimming i'd like leave my hand in on the table, leave the house and come back. And you know, that like resets your nose blindness. So I walked into the house and I'm like, those goddamn cats, where did they pee? And it was, it wasn't them. It was definitely the coon dogs. But then I was like, and you know me, that's like not my favorite profile. So I was like, oh, okay, well, it is what it is. But then a couple of days into cure, I'm like, wait a second, this is different. <coughs> so... They shift, you know, a lot like a lot of times you get those like grape ones that kind of shift into those red wines. This is like cat pee into white wine, like a (laughs) fucked up Jesus. (laughs) I was just going to say, yeah, that's that's the weirdest miracle I've ever heard of. (laughs) (laughs) I'll take it. I mean, shit. (sighs) Yeah, so it's a good one for Thanksgiving. I'm really happy to have her. And, um. Excited, excited what she turns into. The other crazy thing with her, when she was growing, she wasn't necessarily much to look at. She was fine. She was a little drab. When you grind her up, she turns black. Black, hmm. not purple. Straight black. I wonder if black. I can show you guys this, if you can see. Can you see? I don't know. Oh, I just dropped that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's just straight black. She's awesome. I'm really thrilled with her. So. That's awesome. Hi. That's wow. Really dark. Yeah, I could I really could see dark. how dark it was for sure. That's cool. Yep. And fuck Thanksgiving dinner terps, man. Yeah, like nothing I've experienced before. <clears throat> She's fun. <clears throat> oh. So that just goes cool. to show you never know what you're gonna get. No, you sure as fuck don't. Especially with a lot of autos sometimes. It's just, you know, even even if a stain is str- a strain is stabilized and you know the breeder's gone through his due diligence you're still like you know opening up yeah. the genetic lottery so you never know you never know what you got monster i mean it looks like you're in a sauna so i'm i'm expecting <laughs> that you're smoking some like alaskan thunderfuck or something like that i don't know is he froze is that why he's in the sauna? Maybe, maybe. It looks like you're frozen, dude. What? Oh, oh, you're yep. coming back a little bit. Yeah, he's somewhere up in the in the in the in the tundra. 
in a looks like a, a Turkish sauna of sorts. It's probably like 200 degrees in there. Internet sucks though, dude. Mm -hmm. You might have to log out and come back in. We are not receiving you, my friend. While, while, while Monster works on right, his, well, you, his internet. You tell us what you have. I will, I will tell you about... Uh, well, I had a, a happy accident in that um, one of my super cropped branches ended up being uh, like an oh fuck situation. Uh, and the top basically like disconnected from the plant. So I, around day 49 of flower, so seven weeks in, um, I, I was able to harvest just one top, one top of my uh, local skunk from Dominion Seed Co., our, our buddy Duke Diamond. Um, and this is one I've been like anticipating for a long fucking time. I mean, like, you know, since even before we talked to him, um, man, it, I just can't stop smelling this stuff. It is something else. Like it, the terps just explode when you open the jar. It, it is, uh, like G3 mentioned cat piss. I, I'm definitely like getting that like astringent -y type of high end, you know, like there, it's mixed in there with a lot of other stuff, but like, yeah, on that top layer, that high note is that like really like burns your nose type, like cat piss. It's, it's ammonia. Yeah. And it's, you get it first, right? You can't get yeah. anything but that first. Yep. Yep. Your first smell. It's just like, it, it almost burns your nostrils. It's like a harshness. And then, you know, like sipping on a, on a bourbon or something like you can, you can taste the uh, product after your first sip, just like this. You can, you can smell it properly after your first sniff. Um, and it's, I mean, yeah, it, uh, skunky, cat pissy, funky, earthy, citrusy, like fermented grapefruit rind. And like, there's just so much going on, man. It is really one of the most, if not like the terpiest plant that I have grown to date. This stuff just fucking reeks. Reeks. Wow. And I'm I'm thrilled about it. No, I really am. So I got myself a little uh cone packed up with, you know, this this fresh fresh grind, fresh out of the tent, and I am looking forward to puffing on it. Hmm. Fresh Puff. out of the tent. A couple dry puffs. It's ju it just like coats your mouth, coats your mouth in flavor. Um, yeah, like it, it's very, very terpy. So cheers, guys. All right. Is this your first time trying it now? Like right now, this is your first. I can't lie. No, it's not. I had a little, a little bit in the morning. I had a little bit more in the late morning. Had a little bit more in the uh, early afternoon, and I just kept. I had the day off, you know, so I was sampling some new new weed, um, and it, despite it being harvested early, okay, like it's one of the things I I was curious about. You know, we, you you always hear like the high is very dependent on when you harvest and what the trichomes look like. Now I didn't look at any of my trichomes, but. I imagine that because, you know, this is like... You a didn't look at any of your trichomes? Well, oh, no, it was like an accident. It was I an didn't accident. Mean, yeah. I was going to say, that has nothing to do with it. So, so I didn't, like, didn't. yeah, I didn't mean to harvest, and it just came off, and I was like, all right, well, I'll just dry it and, and smoke it. So this mm. is like even a... This is just a glimmer of what you're going to be getting. This is yep. like a watered-down preview. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, uh, what do they call it in, like like a, an orchestra situation. It's like the prelude. Yeah. Yeah. It's the prelude. Just, you know, you get a little snippets of like each, each, uh, song you're going to be hearing yeah. in the concert. So you understand the themes. Exactly. Um, but you know, so I, I imagine all these trichomes were clear, right? If, if not, maybe a little bit cloudy, a little bit. And what week, did you say what week they were on? 
Seven, exactly, like day 49, okay? So, first, like, effects I got were very, I mean, very uh, sativa leaning, you know, um, I was clear-headed, like, motivated, uh, creative feeling, like, I fucking played guitar for three hours, like, wrote a song, you know, I was, like, in the zone, it was, like, sounded really good, and it, it was it just like you know i got a couple chores around the house done i was i was i was really in a good good zone okay and then after my like you know late after my my early afternoon sesh i was asleep on the couch curled up <laughs> next to the cat it was it's one of those weeds you know you, so you can overdo it yeah overdo it even with a like you know o, uh, an early harvested sativa with tri- clear trichomes, if you overindulge, you're gonna be asleep. Like that's this is how I'm. You know, wired, what it reminds me of it reminds me of like toddlers when they just run and 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 then they fall over and fall asleep. <laughs> that's that's a great way to analogize my weed smoking behavior. G three, that's <laughs> that's spot on. I run and run and run until I crash and fall asleep on the couch <coughs> but Toddler yeah look at theory. <laughs> look at that oil ring around that pretty that like fresh fresh weed you almost can't smoke it because it's it's still like a little moist you know what i mean mm-hmm. i'm surprised it's burning that well and that you're not coughing like hacking a lung up yeah surprisingly smooth surprisingly smooth um for having you know so much flavor and just being i mean there's there's a lot going on in this one i mean so i talked to duke you know i've been updating him with with pictures and grow grow reports and stuff he said someone got it tested at 34 percent what the what yeah yeah like (laughs) And I was, that's kind of what I said. I was like, oh, I mean, dude, where, like, where did he fucking get it tested? Like, yeah, right? I was like, are you, like, sure. I don't know. Right, sure, man. Like, 34%. I mean, so what's, it's like a third, it's a third THC. Each bud you're seeing is just, it's comprised of just a third THC. It's just, you know, even if it's a completely, even that's if, if that's hyperbole, which I'm sure it is, right? labs labs giving faulty report numbers not him lying about you know how great his weed is oh sure but like yeah. but you can't trust lab no, numbers necessarily. can't trust these labs at all especially if it's one of those things like did you send it out to test it how reputable is the lab or did you like have your buddy do it on like a purple or a tea check those are two very different things Wait, they, the like home tester yeah. things? Yeah, like that's those can't be very accurate for. I think that they have like a plus or minus five percent or something crazy right. like that. Right. Doesn't mean I don't want to play with them, but no, no, it would be interesting for sure. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't care what the numbers are. Like all I know is what I smell and what I taste. And effects wise, I'm sure it's it's going to be way different by the time I actually choose to harvest. Um, but like, if this is the turt profile I'm going to get, like, fuck, man, I might I might fill a whole tent with these. Like, this is awesome. True old school. Like, that's n- high praise. A no one tent. has this shit. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I think I found my. Like my uh, my niche, my, I found my terp profile, and it's the chems, the sours, the skunks, and they're all kind of in that same branch of the family tree. Mm-hmm. So, I just what it's what does it for me. I don't know. Yep, those meat ones fit in there too. <laughs> oh, they do <coughs> very much. Mm-hmm. That's all kind of <coughs> family. I a hundred percent. Um, yeah, I'm I'm worried about monster now. Should we should we send a search party? 
<laughs> you could send a text message. How about that? <laughs> you know, I'm Is sure he's. Uh, I'm sure he's. You know, trying to come back, guys. I'm sure. I'm sure he's trying, but um. So I had a uh, an eventful week in the garden, to say the least. After last show, I believe we were discussing my my lack of staking or trellising or any type of support system for my plants, and it was just a yeah, not not good. So I got up there with the wife. Yo, he's back. What up? Man? All I had to do was send one, and he shows up. It's like magic. There he is. Welcome back, dude. Can you hear me? Yes. You can. All right. And you're coming good. in loud and clear from from the sauna. <laughs> Yeah, what, uh, what's the story with uh, with where you're at? So this is my new man cave. Just uh, pine board walls. Previous homeowner must have uh, really liked his wood. Yeah, it's a lot of wood. <laughs> he liked the whole upstairs wood. is like this. It looks awesome, dude. Yeah, I like it. It looks awesome. Um, well, yeah, what, what was I saying, G3? I forget. I have no idea. We were talking about your gross oh, the, we, were, we were talking and... about the uh, eventful week I had in the garden. So yes, 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 um, yes, yes. Um, you know, I had I had heard legends, prophecies, if you will, of a great flood that could <laughs> could occur if you are a wicked autopot user, uh, you know, evil. Uh, but but I don't I, I didn't consider myself one of those. Yeah, maybe we could use that as a you know if you're an unex, inexperienced auto pot user, it is possible that you will be smited with a great flood at some Until point. You learn the weak points in your system. Yep. It <laughs> is that I, gap. it is a fear. I, I mean, there's a reason why my reservoir sits upon uh, a. A washing machine tray you know that you can get from like Lowe's or Home Depot and it's like half a foot thick and just in, in case in case there's a problem in case of prophecies coming true all of a sudden and, and, we, and we just God decides to smite us over overnight and then you know you end up like Atlantis and that's no good but so I came up into the grow um, open the tent and I notice <laughs> how long had it been since the last time you were there first of all a whole day a whole day 24 full 24 hours 24 full hours so the, and I should preface it by saying the night before um, I filled the reservoir to the brim you know 20 25 gallons pushing it um, <laughs> yeah right That's the, and oh. <laughs> and um, so there was there was one of my auto pots was dry the night before that's that's a problem in, in and of itself you know like we, we don't want that as much as we don't want a flood so obviously there was an issue i took the auto valve or the aqua valve off and yeah i noticed that there was some goop you know uh, and i i was on a previous show talking all about these microbe life hydro products and the the humic and fulvic acids that i put right in the reservoir okay maybe maybe that wasn't the greatest idea in hindsight even though it's a liquid product it's it's still just it's it's way more viscous than what just water okay do you have a pre-filter i do yeah i do um I, right on the like exit of the reservoir right yeah yes and it's it's called like their pro filter okay which yeah yep. i you know em emptied that clean that about every other week just to make sure things are flowing but like i there was clearly a blockage so like it was and it was in um it was in like i i thought that the silicon uh grommet or the what they call it the plug silicon plug was like caked in what looked like black goop 
So it wasn't like opening or closing properly. So I cleaned that off, reconnected it. Uh, water was flowing again, right? So I figure everything's cool. Everything is great. We're back to normal. So I didn't check on it again until the next night when I come back up and there's fucking four, at least four inches of water in the bottom of the tent. Okay. Like the whole reservoir emptied into the tent, not Uh into the tray where the reservoir is sitting, but into the tent, meaning like it came out of the aqua valves itself, or there's a, a break in the line or something, you know? So I'm like trying to figure out, how did this happen? First, I'm trying to clean the mess. And <laughs> Meanwhile, my, 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 my space heater is running, submerged in four inches of water. Like there, I, I am so lucky that my fucking house didn't burn down. Um, and like, you know, thank God the, the tent held the water. And Shouldn't it, they have an auto off? Do you, <sighs> does your space heater have a, hey, I'm sitting in water. Maybe I shouldn't be running switch. I think mine does. <laughs> Maybe it did. <laughs> the, the switch was on. That's all I can tell you. Um, I, like, if it was I don't believe to a GFCI, it was. GFCI, it probably would have tripped. But believe it or not, um, water is not enough to trip a receptacle a lot of times. Mm. It'll just run. Wow. All right. So speaking of which, um, now that people are running heaters in their tents as a ch- tangential aside, um, there is a product made by Google Nest that's their smoke alarm slash carbon monoxide detector. It connects directly to your phone. It, you can get battery powered ones. You can put them literally anywhere in your house. So having one in your grow space is not a bad idea. Not only will it alarm if something goes awry, but it'll message your phone as well if you happen to be away from home. So Holy shit. It might be a good idea to look into it. They're not super expensive. I think they're like 120 bucks maybe. And really it's a safety feature that could save your entire house or your life certainly your grow so yeah that's really All right, cool Cap, tell us about your space heater that's sitting in water <laughs> no I, i'm i'm gonna have to get one of those and um there is a product that will tell you um like if if there's any standing water you can have like if my tent ever floods again and i have this product it'll like you know send an alert to my phone just say like you know there's there's water oh, where great. it shouldn't be you know, the, the sensor is submerged. Alert. It seems pretty easy to do, you know? Mm-hmm. And but, you just keep it on the bottom of your tent wherever yeah. water's likely to pool. Yep. I guess that's a good thing to do when you're setting up your tent. Drop some water on the bottom. See where water pools in your tent. Oh, for sure. And and make sure that, that like, bottom tray they give you in your <laughs> tent. I mean, that thing is what saved my ass. It's, like, literally no water leaked out. I, I'm amazed. Um, really lucky. No, but they're like, pretty uh, resilient, actually. They they hold water pretty well, in my experience. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm fortunate. But so I went from like a dry pot to like a flooded tent overnight. When it rains, it pours. Yeah, and and it turns out like it's this. It's a very you know the same problem can cause like. Maybe I had a blockage in the line, okay? And that's what was causing the dryness. And then the the flooding happens. Now, you have to, like, understand how these fucking things work, which I'm going to bring this up. The aqua valves. It's important to have, like, a basic understanding of how these things are constructed, and like what's g- going on in the thing when it releases water okay so like here's they have like a clear clear aqua valve and they made this post the other day that shows exactly how it's done i thought it was cool so like yeah there's these there's two little rubber grommets those two silicon pieces And it, it allows three quarters of an inch of water in. And then just the way the, the valve is kind of sealed from the rubber grommets. If it, so 
you don't have to see this. You don't really have to understand much more than just like understand that these two little rubber grommets are so fucking important to the proper functionality of your autopot system. And if there's any blockage or anything preventing those from like opening and closing and sealing properly, then you're, you're fucked. The prophecies yep. will come true. Look, it's happened to me before. I've had issues. Uh, I walked into a fucking flooded floor. Um, usually it's from lack of maintenance. Something yeah. I did wrong. No. Um, just like you said, when it ran dry, after you plugged it up, that same sediment was probably what caused it to stay open. Agreed. Like when I, I probably unclogged, there was probably a little you know clump of humic acid in in there and i it, it came out and then got lodged like where the the grommet is supposed to seal and then it kept it kept the valve open and it let the whole reservoir out okay so that was my that was my hypothesis um and you know to fix that i i just disconnected each auto valve or aqua valve cleaned them thoroughly um rinsed everything and reconnected and then yeah sure enough it stopped filling like it should like monster said it's it's basic I mean, maintenance these these things are built to work and it, yeah it does require a basic level of maintenance though and um you know have discretion with what you are putting in your reservoir i was admittedly pushing the boundaries a little bit with these humic and fulvic acid products. And I, I, I shan't be doing that again. Yeah, the only thing I put in my res is water and photo plus. That's it. Yeah. Everything else goes into the pots. Yeah, and I think I'm even going to start incorporating like that SLF 100 stuff. Um, yeah, I've heard really good things about it. Yeah, I don't. It's, I haven't used it myself, but. Not, neither have list. I. Um, a lot of people in our Discord were, were, you know, raving about it, saying like, you know, it's basically is made to do just that. Like Photo Plus is kind of can also operate as a line cleaning um, product. Like this one's made to do just that. A little different, at least as far as I understand. Well, it's an enzymatic product too. It's going to help break down dead roots and. Uh, cool. Clean the rhizosphere out a little bit. Hell yeah. Well, yeah. So that was that was my my super eventful uh, week in the grow. Uh, everything is uh, back to normal, and um, you know we're we're day fifty six, day fifty eight, approaching like the the two weeks to go signal. Yeah, I was gonna say you got about two weeks to go with those. They look great. Thanks, dude. Thanks. And just based on this this prelude smoke here, it's uh, which I'm talking so much I for, forgot about it. <laughs> very good, very good. I got a lot to look forward to, and um, I can't wait to tell you about them. You are gonna be drowning in flower. You're gonna have so much. Yeah. You don't yeah. Have. have like totes and totes and totes of it. I have like milk crates full of jars of, and which are dwindling. By the way, my supply is running dangerously low. But um, you know the timing is gonna be just just fine. I'm thrilled to have fresh weed. Okay, I have to say that I am not thrilled about the way my product has been like holding up over the course of, I mean, it's been like at least six months since I harvested, I think my last batch and they mm. are not like, they're not tasting great. Hmm. They're Can not. I make one recommendation that I think will change that. Yes. Grove bags. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Take out what you need to smoke, and then long-term storage, use the growth bags. They even Look, recommend I've said it before. I was super them. skeptical of them. 
No, even just regular seal seems to work fine for me. I was skeptical, but I'm fucking, I'm in love with the things. Every time I open I, up a bag, it smells just like the day I put it in. All right. I'm, you know, I see the need. I see the necessity for such a thing at this point. They do like, work. They do. I will be buying some. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the. They do lose their efficacy over time, I feel, though. So keep that okay. in mind. Yeah. Well, the mason I mean, jars. Um, you know, I, I mm -hmm. think that, you know. Interestingly enough, I know we've shat on them before, okay, but one of my jars had a Boveda bag in it. Mm -hmm. A 62% Boveda pack. And that was the best one. After six months in a jar, like, that was the one that tasted the best. Interesting. The you others... Usually hear, you, you usually hear the opposite, that they steal the terps from them. I don't I I think long term there's it's a little bit different. A little bit different. You may be right. Um so yeah, I mean the other I thing just, too is 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 light is a big factor. You want to try to keep them in a mm, cool dark place. I think now when we say light does I mean like fluorescent light like from from you know I think any Really, anything more than what you're seeing in the back of me okay. is, isn't good long term. Holy shit. All right. So, yeah, there's, I mean, mason jars definitely leave a lot to be desired then as far as long term storage. Yeah, I like to Keep them personally put them in the grow bags and put the grow bags inside a tote where it's nice and dark. Okay. Oh, I, yeah, that's, I'm going to have to grab me some of them. Like, you know, that was, and I, like, I remember we talked about me buying a new bong because, like, I thought my weed wasn't tasting so great. And then, like, I tried the fresh weed and the same bong that I thought was the problem. And, like, what do you know? It was, like, this, that mouth-coating, delicious, fresh, sk skunky flavor. It's the fucking weed is the problem. It's a it's multifaceted problem. You just degrading. have to solve all of the facets. So... I mean, look, yeah, nothing's going to sure replace a jar. Right. Yeah. So you do a jar right. for like your, wait, what? I'm sorry, what did you say? You have to pack Yeah, nothing's right. going to replace the, like the jar. You can't like them. Very true. There's, there is a, like, I go about two thirds of the way up a jar when yeah. I fill it with buds. That's Same it. thing with Grove bags. Okay. You really don't, you can't overfill them or it won't work. And you, you don't want to underfill them either. Right. Just like a jar. So choose mm. the appropriate size. Gotcha. Man, there's so much to this. Jeez. <laughs> but that's that's why we talk about it. I mean, I you know, I didn't I didn't know this was even like a problem, but shit, like six after months I is, grew, a lot, is a decent amount of time to hold on to the flower. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It was just because I, I had so just, much, you know. So it's like stale, you know? Yeah, yeah, it is a little stale, for sure. But like, I it, mean, it's imagine that's very like, noticeable. That's where the bar is set for dispensary weed. How long has that stuff been <laughs> sitting on shelves when customers yeah, finally right. get it? Six months? Maybe more. Right, and they're just sitting in their little plastic jars or whatever. So. Now I wonder if like vacuum sealing it would help prevent it from going stale because like i would think so i imagine it's, we, yeah. it's an interaction with oxygen is what causes you know, it we, to degrade over time i remember you know back in the day we for sure got weed that was shipped out east from cali that was like from last year's harvest it was like their excess we don't need this anymore. Let's let's send it out east, and we can still make bank on it. And like, it was all vacuum sealed. You could tell because the buds were like super tight and and dense. You know, um, that shit still goes on. Oh yeah, sending the surplus over here. Oh yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> you know, uh, 
but I never like had a problem with the Terps. You know what I mean? Like it always tasted good as far as I knew back then. So I don't know. Ignorance is bliss. Oh, well, maybe, maybe that's uh, maybe vacuum sealing like your, like your long. I would use the vacuum seal storage. like jars though, rather than a bag. Cause you're going to get squished and compressed. They make the jars that you can, can vacuum, seal. vacuum seal jars. Yeah. Yeah. Make the lids that go around on top of the vacuum. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yep. My interest you mean is like, peaked. Wait, like, like can, like canning. Kind you're of. Like yeah. Put it in like but boiling it's water. And... Sealing. No, they have. No, like, they. The food <laughs> There's like a tube. Or whatever. They have the tube. It comes off the thing right. as it's on the top. Yeah. 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 Right. Just like that. I wonder. I wonder. Well, yeah. So, all right. Grove bags to the rescue, then. If you're if you're getting some stale weed after long term storage, I'll I'll be trying them. Well, cool. What's uh, what is up in your gardens? Hmm. Good, me right time. now. I'm just doing a reset. I got a lot of uh, lemon cava plants. I just trying to get ready for the next cycle. I'm gonna run a room nice. full of those. And then uh, I haven't decided yet, but I'm gonna be popping some autos. I haven't decided. Probably some some big green guy stuff. Um, <laughs> And then maybe good some choice. goonies on deck. Another good choice. So you obviously love this lemon kava. Is it? Is it? Oh, yeah. a, a cut that you're going to do a whole room of? Yeah. Or like you got some? Yeah, I've had the I've had the same seeds. cut for a couple of years now. Oh no. yeah. I'm all done popping oh. seeds. I popped hundreds of them to find this one. So. <laughs> all right. Well. I might I might be asking for a cut, man. I might I might need some lemon kava. I love it, man. It's the reason there's a reason it's it's staying around, you know, this long. Just amazing, like lemon, skunky, funky, rotten terps. Dude, it's it sounds like it would pair excellently with uh with this local skunk. I I, I think it would. And uh, the thing I like about it is I don't really get sick of it. I don't seem to get immune to it. Every time I smoke it, I get just as lifted as I did, you know, the first time I tried it. There you go. It's it's those. When I don't have it, though, it's funny. Like, when I go somewhere, people are like, oh, you're going to get that lemon car. When I don't, they're like, oh. It's like, you know. You're the man with the (laughs) carver now. (laughs) Yeah. Yep. That's funny, dude. It's funny. Well, yeah, what's up? We see Goonie out there in the chat. What up, Goonie? Tell tell Monster what kind of what what strain he should grow. Let him know. Got anything new or coming down the pike? You want him to test? That'd be cool. Could go after this Thanksgiving dinner terps. <laughs> gobbler <laughs> terps. Wawa gobbler terps. I'm looking forward to Thanksgiving, man, because I ain't going to be doing shit, you know, the next couple of days and the weekend. Just looking forward to just relaxing, watching football, getting high. Oh, yeah. Yelling at Ooh, family. Too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Getting into overly political arguments with relatives I hardly see. Fun. <laughs> no. It's always a lot of Italian thing, you know? <laughs> Oh, it's, we're going to do a lot of walks, a lot of walks and a lot of, uh, tossing around the football in the backyard. That's, that's Thanksgiving, you know? What about you, G3? How does it go at at your place? You got like a cauldron or something that you, uh, put the turkey in? Yep. Obviously. (laughs) Yeah, I'm just trying to think of what's actually going on in my tent. My tent's kind of boring right now. Yeah, um, why? Well, I just took down Sacred Watch and Goondocks and Purple Pantaronias in Cure. And let's see. So I have Strawberry Wedding. She's about ready to come down. That's from Big Green Guy. She's beautiful. Oh, her colors are just stunning. Um, she smells like chloroseptic. And if you know what I mean by that. <laughs> the new, it's that you know. like throat spray, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. That like That's cherry. Exactly what she yeah, I I, yeah. I know exactly what that smell is. Yeah, really. I know. 
that's very specifically what she smells like, like. cough now, syrup growing, terps? It's not cough syrup, really. It's that very specific chlorosemic <laughs> smell. It's, it was such a very, like, it's specific. But yeah, so Sounds we'll see intriguing. what she is. She has a little bit, she has a little time left to go. So we'll see what, <laughs> what happens septic. with her. Chloroseptic. Um, let's see. I have Day Sobrana. Yeah, that She's was the stuff dick. like your mom would give you when you had a sore throat. Like yeah, and spray it numbs co- the yeah, whole numbs back, the back, back of your throat. throat. You Works to, like, for like 30 seconds. Directly. Yeah, you had to shoot it directly yeah. the right spot or else it just numbed your whole mouth. Yeah, or you just could get that <laughs> awful chloroseptic taste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's what she smells like. It's just very, I don't know, it's like, like strawberry and cherry and like medicinal... And that there's just like something very specific that's chloroseptic. So hmm. that's that. I have a day of and she's just a stick right now. They can't all be purple pandragons, you know. And I just, I guess she didn't like something I did. And what do you mean, just a yeah. stick? She's just a stick. She's a she's a stick. <laughs> like a a stretched out seedling with no yeah, side branching. Kind of, well, no, she has. I mean, kind of. She's. Oh my gosh, I could like have you go hunting for a picture of her. There's a picture of her <laughs> in the Alibri and Girl Along <laughs> channel. But she's just like, she's about 12 inches tall and she's got flowers basically all the way up and she's got like one set of leaves that come off and she's got like three fingers all the way up on all of her leaves. She's just, she's a stick with flowers <laughs> up her. She's like a little spirit stick. A spirit <laughs> stick. She's fun. Um, but yeah, she's got pretty flowers all the way up. She's just, she's 12 inches tall and has like no branches. So huh. I made her mad. I don't yeah, know why. What do you why. think you did? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Hmm. She got the exact same soil that everybody else gets. She got fed the exact same way everybody else does. Hmm. She just Maybe for it's just whatever a dud. reason. Shit didn't. happens every now and then. And it, yeah, Even the best like, breeders are gonna get a dud every now and then. Which, uh, wait, wait, which one? Uh, which channel is that in? If in you go to Alibri Hayes. Discord under Day Sabrana. Okay, gotcha, I think gotcha. I'm pronouncing that. Cr- I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, um, you might have to scroll right. up a bit. I, th- I, I think I posted a picture yesterday or the day before. I yeah, see. she's just a stick. Um, well, I just popped- monsters right though. Monsters right. Like that. I mean, you know, like it very much could just be a dud. Like sometimes they just don't take off. Like a like a. A firework <laughs> just doesn't go yeah, back, doesn't go boom. genetics don't go the way you expect them to. Otto's are real finicky, too. Like, I mean, all it could have took is, like, a big piece of bark in your soil to tap root right. in. Right, or maybe like there it. was, like, yeah. one specific spot that was a little hot or something. I don't know. Maybe I yeah. didn't water her the way she wanted. Who knows? There she is. Yeah. Oh, she's there a, she a skank. Wah, wah, wah. She is just a little <laughs> stick. Look at that. She is. She's a little stick. She's like, still like cute and feisty. I like her. And like she's got all three fingered leaves. She's just what a skank. So <sighs> yeah, like that's wild. I mean, there's a Pretty couple. Flowers, like you're gonna get like an eighth out of that thing if you're lucky. That's okay. A couple side branches at the bottom, mm-hmm. but like not much. Even like it's where the side branches should be. Is like that's where the buds are. Yep. I'm going to say that this isn't your fault. Okay, well, whatever. She's unique and different. I like I'm her gonna anyway. say, gonna look her. I'm going to say... Look at me. Head. It is. It's not <laughs> your fault. <laughs> okay. No, I'm going to say go the exact opposite and say that it's all your fault. All right. I accept <laughs> both. <laughs> accept both. It's, it's one or the other. Yeah. But no, it still looks like it's good. It's a cute little plant. Cute yeah. little plant. All right, so is it in an auto pot? So she was, she's in an auto pot bag, but she is not in the auto pot system because gotcha. she was, she never thrived enough for me to feel like, oh, we're going to. <coughs> Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's actually, that, you know, that's happened to me before. That's happened this to me. This is actually from growing in the mitten. So thanks, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the, He's the, the one who said this for it's for the Thanks girl. for the mutant bean asshole. The <laughs> I like it. Um, well, it it's still gonna like probably grow great weed. It's just yeah. like once said you're only She'll gonna get a little bit. She'll be fun to experience. Bit. I mean, she's not taking up a whole lot of space. She's not 
well, you know, causing any issues, well, really. She's if she were deal. taking up space... Or you sound like a parent space. talking about their, like, loser kid. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, he just he's just sits in the basement and plays video games. And... You know what? She's special. <laughs> she's hardly her always here. Life, okay. <laughs> yeah. That's, see, I, I would consider a snuff, but that's just me, you know. That is that is just you. It's definitely not me. She can just do her thing. It's not like I need the space or anything. So I'm kind of killing time until the next grow along for your average grow. They're doing, if anybody's interested, they're doing all night owl stuff. It starts December, December 21st to January 16th is the planting period ish. So information on their discord. So I have to wait to plant these night owls. So until then, I planted two mango smiles, and I'm going to reverse them and collect pollen. Because, you know, fuck around. You go, out. girl. So that's what's going on. That's awesome. Yeah, get on in that Discord. Join the grow along. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Is that you getting a massage in that sauna, too? Getting a I wish. Lighting? Full service. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. So night owl grow along. What it's, it's so interesting. Like you know, I've I've been growing uh, photos for the last couple rounds, and I haven't like I haven't really like looked at what like w what seeds are for sale. Basically, if you go on like you know uh, multiverse beans or wh wherever you get your seeds now, and look in auto flowers and under night owl. There are so fucking many. There's there's so many strains now. It's almost ridiculous. Like I I remember the good old days when we had a dozen auto flower strains to choose from, and that was that. Just a question because I'm out of the loop. Has anybody seen his quality control go downhill at all? With all these, not from I what mean, I've heard. It's good to hear. I mean. All I've heard, you know, from what I know, he still is like, you know, he produces all the seeds himself in a big facility, you know, several across a, a couple states even. But like, yeah, it's, you know, he, he does it all. It's not like it's, t it would, I don't know, maybe with, uh, with that type of, like, he's been at it for a while. With that type of a like a head start, with that the type of support he has, with the work that he does, like he has a lot of resources, and maybe yeah, with that, those resources, it's it's certainly easier to be in control of that much breeding on your own. But still, yeah, I imagine he's got a lot going on, dude. He's probably got that like whiteboard or chalkboard with a lot of like frantic scribble and equations on it and you know lines pointing to other lines and pictures like what's that meme with fucking charlie from uh it's always sunny mm -hmm. oh when he's in the mail yeah yeah he's just like point like yeah. pointing at like that's, the the chart behind that's him. one of the best scenes ever yeah and if you, if you i mean i was never like the hugest fan of that show but that scene in particular He's like all speeded out on coffee and fucking, <laughs> yeah, right. fucking just going nuts. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree, dude. Yeah, here I'll. I'll it, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Can I even bring it up? <clears throat> No, fuck it. Nope. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> no, Y'all know can't. what I'm talking about anyway. <laughs> I'm not that internet savvy. I barely know what a meme is anyway. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, that, it's, that's like, he has a lot of strains now. Not, that's not to say any one of them are like, I don't know, like the quality's gone down. I was just commenting like how amazing it is at the variety and shit. And that's just him too. It's not not even talking about all these other great breeders we have out there in the auto world too. So mm -hmm. it's like it's it's tugging me back every time I think I get out. They pull me back in, and I'm <laughs> I'm like really considering doing a 
like as much as I want to do a full tent of skunk, like I want to do a lot more autos too, just because of the variety. Mm-hmm. Spice of life. Both. Both is good. For sure. For sure. So I wanted to thank a couple new Patreons. Now it's really difficult to so wait no okay if i just go to that page i can see way easier okay patreon makes everything difficult yeah it's not a great it's not a great website not gonna lie um okay so we have jj we have the mexican thank you very <laughs> much that is what he calls himself. Not just not a Mexican. The, not the nickname that I gave him. The. The Mexican. The Mexican. The like Mexican. a superhero. Uh, yeah, thank you. And, well, <laughs> um, I should say... <laughs> gracias. <laughs> Muchos gracias, senor. Uh, we have Don. Don H. We have Mikey. 3187. We have Mike. Mike K. We have Grow the 450. I assume that's an area code. 450. Where's that? I don't Wait, know. 540. I'm sorry. Grow the 540. That's Oklahoma. Oh. I could be wrong. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Cool. What up? What up? Um, we have Jesse Logan. I'm sorry if you. It, I shouldn't have given away your full name, but yeah, uh, don't worry. Your boss awesome is not Jesse listening. Logan. There are lots of Jesse Logans out there. <laughs> your boss is not listening. I promise. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. Jesse Logan to the office, please. Jesse Logan to the office. It's <laughs> going on your permanent record, son. You were listening to that that weed growing podcast. I heard. Ah, it's not how the world works, guys. Remember when they used to threaten you with that shit? Like, what's going on? Your I see them talking record? about you on that show. They got that pretty girl and those two idiots above her. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, You're banned for life. Ineligible to be uh, an employee or a functional member of society. You're not going to make partner now. <laughs> I'm surprised I don't send you to prison just for listening to this show. Fuck. But no, yeah, guys, shout out to all you people so in much. Prison. Yeah, every, <laughs> if you are if you are in prison and listening, hey, shout out to you. And thank you, like G3 said, to all the Patreon supporters who signed up. Like that's what a like uh, a nice little inflow of, of noobs. So thank you very much. Yeah, we love you guys. Come hang with us on the Discord if you're not there already. Yeah, yeah if you're not sure where to get a link, send us a send us a DM, or you can get it right on the website. Just click on Discord, it'll bring you right there. It sure will. It sure will. Um, Don't be afraid of Discord. The water's nice and warm over there. It is. Oh, wait, wait. We have to keep going. I apologize. I apologize. There are, in fact, more if I only scrolled. Oh my goodness. Uh, I want to say thank you to Bluegrass69. 69, dude. Um, and I want to say thank you to Johnny Cush. Jay Sa. And I think think that's it no we'll just keep going because listen i don't know when the last time we did one of these is i don't think ronnie we've done g, shout outs in a while ronnie g nerd grows brendan l i'll just say thank you guys all very thank much you, thank you, thank that you. takes us to the end of august as far as signups go like if i missed you just yeah get a hold of me on discord or instagram yell at Scream me scream at him yeah. yep I do apologize. I, I mean, I mean, in a, I mean to shout everyone out who signs up and like, um, you know, we love you guys. What keeps yeah, the show we appreciate working. the active people in Discord. 
Uh, one of them, is the one of the newer members, Nerd Gross. I like his humor. Oh, Nerd um, Gross is hysterical, man. Yeah. And listen, he's got his own podcast. I wanted to give him a special shout out. Um, it's called the Nerd Grows Podcast, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check my Spotify real quick, guys. Like, you talk about a funny motherfucker. Yeah, Nerd Grows Podcast. All one word, Nerd Grows. Go search for it. And um, he's got a couple episodes, so give him some some love, some support, and some listeners, man. Um mm-hmm fucking hysterical guy he's very funny <laughs> so yeah get up in there our discord uh get a hold of us any way you can and like just keep listening keep growing keep uh solving the problems with us you you guys all helped me in the discord like solve my uh great flood issue so like you know we all put our heads together we made it happen at like one in the morning <laughs> on a Friday night. Really, when you need somebody there to back you up, that's where you find oh, us. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, before absolutely. we go, I'm going to get a little corny and cheesy here. Um, I want everybody to really sit back and think about what you are thankful for. I know we live in a fucked up world. It's a lot of fucked up shit going on. We're getting fleeced to no end. Um, but at the end of the day, this is still the greatest country in the world, and you do have a lot to be thankful for. I will uh, agree 100% with that sentiment, sir. Take a bong rip to it. And if you're lonely and you got nobody to talk to, pop in the Discord. I'm sure. Yep, we'll be hanging out. Yeah. I'm sure. Yep. Oh, and there is a full moon Sunday sure. into Monday. So, Sunday night. Throw your water outside, throw your rocks outside. Stones, it's, crystals. Charge them if you got them. It's one of those good full moons, though. That, it's a good one. No right. eclipse or anything. So. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Well, yeah, it's been a, it's been a yeah. fun one, guys. Okay. Um, <laughs> hell yeah, Wu Tang, Mikey says. Mikey gave us the picture in the Discord too of uh just wanna just wanna show you that like, you know, with a little help, I can in fact bring up the meme that I was talking about. It only took Mikey's help. There he is. <laughs> that's that's what Daz Daz. I can't looks help like. but laugh every time I see it. <laughs> that's Daz planning out his uh his next his next seed drop. <laughs> That's what I imagine it looks like. Keeping cannabis craft. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Well, yeah, guys, thank you all, and, and happy, happy Thanksgiving. Happy and, Thanksgiving. Um, thank happy you, Thanksgiving. too. Happy Thanksgiving. We're thankful for you guys. Oh, we are. I'm thankful for you, too. And we're thankful for you, Cap. Oh, yes, I thank you. Absolutely. So much love. Thank you. You made it all corny now, monster. Look what you've done. Man, how about this? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's. Oh, on that note, guys, till next week. We love you. Don't get caught.